God, oh, what I eat in a week video, which took forever to edit, but yeah, here you go, oh, what I eat in a week video, because uh, food just makes me happy, and um, yeah, I hope this was uh, interesting, and this is going to be interesting, hopefully. Yeah, right, on Monday, I started off with bananas, as usual, and then I had some oats, um, topped up with a bunch of stuff, and I know beetroot sounds strange, but it kind of goes well with me peanut butter because the beetroot is kind of sweet like it's steamed so it's sweet right and then around mid morning i had um, a fruit as a snack i usually snack on fruit um before breakfast um mid morning and then in the evenings basically i have fruit thrice a day because i just love fruit a lot so yeah and then um my lunch which was basically all the stuff and a dal mixture, like, kind of like a curry, and then some rice, um, like a pulao on the side, and obviously some um, steamed beetroot and cucumber because naturally that's that's what I have. And then um, around evening time, I again snack on some melon, I believe. And some days I snack on pomegranate, some days I snack on something else. But basically, I'm not going to be showing you all the fruit. I had this week because um, I have fruit twice a week. I mean, twice a day, and it's usually some something in between um, banana or um, pomegranate or uh, melons or mangoes, and it's usually something along those lines. And then in the evening, I went onto the terrace because um, I haven't been anywhere in the lockdown, and I haven't been out of my house basically, so out of the house basically. So, yeah. The terrace was nice, and I naturally vlogged there. And um, it kind of, like everything was just so pretty, and the sun kind of made me want to sing the circle of life, and and that's what I'm gonna do. The circle of life. Okay, yeah, that's that's the um, only line I know. Um, Unfortunately, unfortunately, so um, I'm fully aware that this is going to be on the internet forever. So, yeah, that's the only line that I'm going to sing. Um, yeah, that was that was my evening. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be vlogging any random misadventures um, for the rest of this video. So you can be um, happy about that. And yeah, uh, honestly going on the terrace in your pajamas um, and singing the circle of life is such a mood. Right, um, then I had dinner, uh, which was basically the same thing, just uh, with flax seeds, I mean flax seed powder and sunflower seeds and lime juice as usual. And if you're wondering, um, yeah, I had the drink alongside because, um, as usual. And if you're wondering what that um, pink liquid is, it's uh, basically um, the beetroot water. When we um, we basically steam our beetroot and eat it because it's just sweeter and softer that way. And um, the water that comes uh, when you steam it is kind of sweet too. So I like adding that to my dinner. Plus, plus it has just it just has a really cool color and it also gives a nice ombre like effect. On Tuesday, um, breakfast was basically dessert. So I sauteed up, not sauteed up, stirred up some or dried up some um, pumpkin like small pieces of pumpkin in some coconut oil and then I steamed that for about 10 minutes before I mashed it all up with a potato masher, added in some coconut milk, some coconut sugar and basically just um, kept cooking that down until it reached uh, mashing consistency and kept adjusting the uh, coconut milk and sugar and taste testing and you know just making a pumpkin halva basically. And I know this is not, you know, your traditional halwa, but it's like an easier version that I don't have to grate it and stuff, just chop it into pieces and, you know, steam it and mash it. And I kind of prefer the mashed version. Yeah, and I also added in some cardamom powder at some point. So, yeah, this was, this was really, really good. Easily one of my uh, favorite breakfasts of the week uh, because it was dessert, obviously. So, yeah. And... I really did love the combination of pumpkin and peanut butter. It just goes so well together. Then for lunch, I um, first sauteed up some onion, um, garlic, chili, and curry beans in a mustard seed um, oatmeal or um, rather 
everything in this was a foley. I, I'm not really sure what what foley literally defines us. It, it defines us as tempering, right? So what 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 all is included in the tempering? Are the onions included in the tempering? Is it only the mustard seed and the curry leaves? I'm not entirely sure, but basically that. And then I added in my chopped veggies, and then I let that steam for about ten minutes until they were cooked. And then when I opened them up, they looked a bit like this. Yeah, they released a lot of water, especially the dolky. So yeah, and then I added in some shredded coconut because you ca- you can't have mustard seed and curry leaves and not have coconut, right? So. Yeah, I added in some shredded coconut, and this is honestly one of my most favorite um, combinations for making a vegetable. Like you know, the combination of mustard seeds and coconut and stuff. And yeah, that was um, what I had along with some pumpkin flies, some beetroot and cucumber because classic me, and some dal and rice in a volcano form. Um, if you, if you're wondering what I mean by volcano, then um, it's basically the dal is in the center in like a mini hole of rice and then when you cut open the rice the dal just comes out is there's anything that i um is anything that i say making sense i have no clue anyways um you i have a very interesting point to note how how does yellow moon dal just solidify i i don't understand the science behind it i assume food um i mean food does uh go exceed the limits of science but I mean, solidified dal just tastes nice. I don't know. I like my dal solid, I guess. Right. So breakfast, I had oats and chia. And please, please don't just have oats and chia. Um, I'm used to the taste. I like it. Not everybody would. So please, please add some non-dairy milk and like coconut milk is really good in it. And maybe some sugar or banana. Just something. Don't blame me if you just have oats and chia and then you don't like it. I'm used to the taste. I like it. So yeah. Then for lunch, I um, first of all I made a mustard seed for me. Then I added in um, some onion, ginger, garlic, and chili, and I browned that. Like got that really, really brown because you really, really need to caramelize onions or not caramelize them. Just get them to a really nice and dark brown color for them to have flavor. So yeah, I did that, and then I added in my veggies, which were some cauliflower florets, some carrots, some pinch beans, and yeah, I covered that for about ten minutes and let it steam. And then when I opened it up, I added in the masalas, which were some um, coriander powder and garam masala, and I definitely added in a lot more masala later on. That was just for representational purposes, but. Yeah, added in a ton of masala because um, masala, and also some shredded coconut, and uh, finally some cooked millet that I was cooking on the side. So yeah, um, that's that's what I did, and and this kind of tastes like um, prawns biryani. I mean, cauliflower kind of tastes like prawns to me. I don't know why, and um, yeah, I'm sorry to anybody who I offended, but but it did taste like that. Okay. And yeah, I had that with um, lime juice and yeah, and dal, obviously yellow moon dal again. And then for you know, my mom made um, millet in a different form, the kind of in the form that I um, made it in another video of mine. Which I'll link up here, and basically she just cook the um, vegetable and millet together, so that's um, easier. And then I had that with the dal, and this kind of this is kind of um, an explanation for the uh, volcano thing, which yeah, this this is kind of like my volcano uh, volcano. How do you even pronounce it? My volcano rice and dal, right? And I had that with tomato and flaxseed, by the way, which is an amazing combination by itself, seriously. Anyways, uh, breakfast on Thursday morning was some millet and millet porridge, and I think millet porridge is better than oat porridge. Seriously, I, I'm I'm surprising myself, but I think I might like millet porridge more than I like oats. Oh my gosh! Anyways, this combination was amazing. It was amazing. I tell you, this this was probably my second most favorite breakfast of the week. 
or uh, second most thing of the week. And wow, wow, just peanut butter and it, honestly, all the topics on this just work so well together with the deep water too. Wow. And then for lunch, I um, you see beetroot and green mini dal in the background because it's pure. And here you see me assembling a wrap. So um, on the for the base we have um, a bhakri on top of which I added in some potato, uh, sauteed with some bell pepper and all the good stuff, and then some more sauteed wedge, sauteed wedge, and then I added in, added added on added. Um, I added some uh, baby corn, which I kind of sauteed, I mean kind of grilled, kind of kind of grilled with our oil on a pan, just to, you know, just for some color. And it kind of tastes a lot better like that. Yeah. So then I um, added in the flax seeds, flax seeds, some flax seed powder and sunflower seeds randomly. Probably add some sort of sauce or dip because um, this is obviously going to be dry on its own. So, um, I, I, I actually ended up adding in the um, green moong dal into the wrap later, which sounds weird, but, but actually worked pretty well. Then for dinner, I had the uh, same thing, just all mashed up together into what we call in Marathi as khus, which is basically just bhakri and dal mashed together. And I'll, I'll show you how I make it later on in the video. But yeah, I had that with some more corn and the same sabzi and yeah. And then Friday, I made a smoothie um, to like as a replacement for my morning uh, fruit. And here, um, I first added in uh, some cucumber, and then I added in some coriander. And um, I know it sounds strange, but um, it, I mean, it works together. And then I blended that up. Probably added some mint leaves too for some extra flavor. You could do that too. And then I added in some frozen banana. I probably would have added in like one, one full big frozen banana or three small ones. Yeah, and I blended that all up until it was nice and blended up. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I mean, how do I explain blending up? You just blend it up, right? And then it it became a lot lot lesser than I expected. I expected it to fill a big bowl, but it, it just filled a small one. So yeah, and on top of that, I sprinkled over some chaat masala because um, I also added in some pomegranate and one random dried so big. But honestly, I think I might have just Indianized the smoothie. But chaat masala and coriander and pomegranate just seemed to work together to me. But Oh my gosh, guys, I, I Indianized the smoothie. I added chaat masala to a smoothie. Oh my god. But, but I mean, it, it it tasted fine that time. Moving on to breakfast, which was uh, me trying to make another wrap. So here you see me take some leftover bhakri from yesterday. Um, and I added in some pom... I added in some peanut butter, some dried berries, some um, coconut powder, and some pumpkin seeds. And then I was basically attempting to make those, you know, those um, tortilla, banana, peanut butter, sushis that you see. I mean, not sushi, but like, you know, you just roll up a banana and some uh, in a tortilla, and then you cut that, and then you end up with a sushi. Not, not a sushi, but like you, you get what I mean, right? If you've seen that before, I, I don't know if you, if you have seen that before. So I was attempting to go for something like that, and um, clearly the bhakri was incorporating as much as a tortilla would. So um, I managed to get like one or two good pieces. So this was this was what I was aiming for. So yeah, and um. The, it was it wasn't just because um the bhakti was incorporating but it was also because the bhakti wasn't fresh so that also made a difference plus i probably uh did not do my fillings right i should have spread the um, peanut butter better um yeah yeah it, it was it was a bit messy but um tacos fall apart and we still love them right i mean i i heard of that place somewhere and this this just that place just spoke to me and it spoke to this um, tab 
and I think this rap connected to that phrase on a spiritual level. But now since I've eaten that rap, the rap, I mean, I contain the rap spirit, right? So it can. So technically, the phrase also relates to me on a spiritual level. So I and one and the I and the rap are one and the same. Wait, what? I have no clue where I was going with that, but tacos fall apart, and we still love them. And here you see me making lunch, which was um, again onion, ginger, and garlic and dudi, and yeah, it was a sabzi basically with coconut and yeah. And then this was my final plate, and everything in this had coconut in it, which should tell you how much I like coconut and how much we love coconut in this household, but. Yeah, everything. Everything had coconut in it, including the poha, because I mean, po- poha just tastes better with coconut, in my opinion. So, yeah, this this was really good. And then dinner was basically the same thing, in a fancy form, fancier form. And I also added in some flaxseed powder and some some flour seeds and some puff quinoa because naturally. And then. I um, tried to spin around the bowl for you guys because um, I finally used um, the bowl that spins. That I have two types of uh, big bowls in my home, one that spin and one that does not spin. So uh, I mean, I have two bowls, two big bowls. So yeah, this was the one that spin. So I finally could use the one that spin basically. Anyways, we are moving on to. Sunday's breakfast, which was oh no wait, this is Saturday's breakfast, right? Sorry, Saturday's breakfast, which was um again oats, but topped off with interesting stuff like you know butter and cranberries and pumpkin seeds, and honestly that the combination is just amazing. Okay, it it kind of tastes like you know butter and jam kind of kind of. Anyways, uh, my lunch was dal rice, the same green moong dal, with a cucumber and pumpkin fries and one kachori. Because I'm not, I'm not completely gluten free. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not really gluten free at all. But like, we just don't get gluten products at home, so I don't end up having gluten. But yeah, I don't cook with gluten. But I mean, I eat gluten if it's there in something. Right. So, lunch was, I mean, dinner was basically the same thing in a bowl as all my dinners were. And um, yep, I just again. Added on some flaxseed powder and some sunflower seeds, and in this case, a little bit of red chili powder randomly for a pop of color and also for a hint of spice. And then um, I also ended up uh, having some chuda later on, yeah, along with the, um, I mean, towards the end of my meal. So this was, I think, some potato-based chuda. I'm not really sure. Right. So Saturday morning's breakfast was again some oats and chia. And um, I, the toppings were really interesting today. Though uh, first I just stirred in some um, soaked and peeled almonds, which is something that I have almost daily with with or before my breakfast, which I haven't mentioned yet. But yeah, that's that's something that I have. And then I added on some shredded carrot, and I think carrot just tastes sweeter when they shred it. If that makes sense, um, I just really really love shredded carrot and. I I never really realized how amazing it tastes, but I did, and yeah. So I had that with um, some raisins, black and white raisins, and then I also added on some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. And then I attempted to get an aesthetic drizzle of peanut butter, and uh, naturally I had to, I had to attempt to fix it, and then I had to make it worse. So, yeah, we ended up with a uh, peanut butter and carrot um, uh, dollop of. Uh, I I have no clue, and then I um, tried to cover up my mistake with a lot of coconut powder because. Coconut is amazing, yeah. And this was honestly such a good combination. I've just never really appreciated peanut butter and carrot together. But oh my gosh, this was this was revolutionary. Okay, I never knew shredded carrot tastes so good. Right. And lunch was um, all this amazing stuff on a plate, as all my lunches are. And yep, I really I really do love 
sweet potato in sabzi form where you know just with basic dry masalas and yep that was that was my lunch and then post lunch we had this um chaas made out of uh, coconut milk and lime juice and mint it wasn't really a chaas i don't know what to call it it was just a coconut milk based beverage i suppose and it was chilled so that was that was such a relief oh my gosh i i really did love it and um it was it was amazing and the mint was amazing just just mint and coconut and lime together just wow and also some jeera powder obviously and yeah i i ended up having a second glass because it was just that good and then um finally sunday dinner ended up with a uh, kus because naturally so i had some torn apart um shreds of bhakri and then some dal and some of lunch sabzi some sabzis from some of these sabzis from lunch and i i love having kus it's just one of my most favorite dinners and then some slices of cucumber that i took forever to adjust and finally i topped it off with some puff quinoa some flaxseed powder and some pumpkin seeds and yeah that was that was my dinner um and i love kus and obviously i had that with some beetroot on the side how classic this was this was just a classic me dinner and yeah thanks thanks for watching i hope to see you soon and Au revoir and I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys yeah